hipsters, hi families. I hope you're enjoying your superhero Thursday just as much as I am. As you can see, I'm still wearing my cape. It's just such a fun day. So make sure you're ready for number corner, wearing your blanket as a cape or a real cape if you have one. Get ready. Thumbs up. It was up. Get ready. I love my half. Yes, I do. I love my half. How about you? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Months of the year. Get ready. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, months of the year. Today is, say it with me, Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. One more time without my help. Today is, You're right, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020, or also known as Superhero Thursday. But I have a question. How many days have we been in this school? Count with me, get ready. 100, stop, switch, count by tens. 110, 120, 130, stop, switch, count by one. 131, 132. 133, 134, 135, 136, 137. But we've been in school a new day, so I need to add one more. There we go. Great. Now let's count to see how many days we've been in school now. Count with me. Get ready. 100. Stop. Switch. Count by tens. 110. 110. 120, 130, stop, switch, count by ones, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138. Wow. Let me go ahead and write the number 138 in our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. Ooh, my eight could be a little bit neater. There we go. Hmm. So I wrote the number 138. How many numbers or how many digits are in the number 138? Let's count. One, two, three. So in the number 138, there are three digits. There are, great. How many hundreds are in the number 138? Looking at the hundreds, tens, and ones chart, how many hundreds are in the number 138? So easy. Show me in three, two, one. Oh, if you have a number one up, you're right. There's only 100 in the number 138 because there's a one in the hundreds place. How many ones are in the number 138? You're right, eight, because the number eight is in the ones place, and that tells us how many ones are in the number 138. So if there's 100 in the number 138, and if there's eight ones in the number 138, how many tens are in the number 138? So easy. There's three tens in the number 138 because there's a three in the tens place. Three tens is the same as how many or the same as what number? Hold up three tens. Let's count them. 10, 20, 30. So the three tens is the same as the number 30. Your turn. Great job. So after looking at our hundreds, tens, and ones chart, and after figuring out how many hundreds, tens, and ones is the number 138, I want another question. Is the number 138 odd or even? Odd, odd, or even? Odd, odd, or even? Odd, odd, or even? Take 10 silence seconds to think. Say, hmm. Is the number 138 odd or even? And how do I know? 10 more seconds. Some friends already had the answer because it was too easy. You're so right. The number 138 is even because there's an 8 in 
the ones place. And you know that eight is even. One more time. The number 138 is even because there's an eight in the ones place. And eight is even. So, yeah, yeah, I got it. Great. I'm going to move this over to the side so that we can switch that cow. It's time to switch cow. Ooh, Miss Ross is going to trick you, so don't steal my turn. Count by ones, get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop, switch, count up by ten. Eight, 18, 28, 38, 48, 58, 68. Stop, switch, count back by ones. 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62, 61. Stop, switch, count back by tens. 61, 51, 41. Stop, switch, count up by ones. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Stop, switch, count up by tens. 53, 63, 73, 83. Stop. Switch, count up by ones. 83, 84, 85. Stop, switch, count up by fives. 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. Stop, switch, count back by ones. 120, 119, 118. 117, can't hear you. 116, there we go. 115, 114, 113, 112, 111, 110. Stop, switch, count back by tens. 110, 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Stop. Switch, come back by ones. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ooh, let's see if we can count by tens, by fives, and by twos. Get ready. Y'all want to go? I'm going to pick first. Make sure you're loud and proud. Start at two. Count by twos. Get ready. Two, four, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. Stop. Now let's count by five. Get ready. 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Stop. Now let's count up by tens. 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Let's start at 10 and count by tens. Get ready. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Count by fives. Get ready. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 105, 110, 115, 120. Say, whoo, all done. Switch counting is one of my favorite parts of the corner, and you all sound so good. But now I want to do something a little bit different. I want to compare some numbers. Say compare, compare, compare. Hmm. When we compare numbers, do we read left to right or do we read right to left? That's right. We always compare reading from left to right. Say left to right. Great. Let's look at these two numbers. The first
first number is 117, and my other number is 103. When I have two numbers, I'm going to put a check if the number in the same place value is the same. If those two numbers are the same, I'm going to go to the next place value. So let's look at this number, 117 and 103. What number is in the hundreds place and the number 117? Right, it's the one here. But what number is in the hundreds place and 103? 100. They're the same. So I'm just going to put a check up top because that's not going to help me figure out which number is bigger. Now let's look in the tens place. What number is in the tens place and the number 117? That's right, the number one. What number is in the tens place and the number 103? Ooh, a little different. It's the zero. So since those numbers are different, I'm going to underline them because that's going to help me figure out which number is bigger. It's going to help me figure out which number it is. Hmm. What's bigger, the number one or the number zero? So smart. The number one is bigger. So I know my alligator is going to want to eat the number 117 because... 110 is bigger than zero tens. So if I was going to read this from left to right, how would it say, what would I say? That's right. I would say 117 is greater than 103. And I know that because they both share the a one in the hundreds place. But in the tens place, they have different numbers, and I know 110 is bigger than zero tens, so the number 117 is greater than the number 103. Let's look at the next two numbers. I have the number 207 and the number 270. Let's do the same, use the same strategy we used for the first one. They both have a two in the hundreds place. I'm just going to put a check up top because that's not going to help me figure out which number is greater. What numbers do we see in the tens place? What number is in the tens place in the number 207? You're right, just a zero. And what number is in the tens place in the number 270? You're right, a seven. Are they the same number? Absolutely not. So I'm going to underline both of those numbers because those two numbers in the tens place is going to help me figure out which number is greater. It's going gonna, it's gonna to help me figure out which number is. That's right, which number is greater? Is zero greater than seven? Mm -mm. Is seven greater than zero? Absolutely. So I know seven tens is greater than zero tens. So which number do you think my alligator mouth is going to want to eat? 207 or 270? You're right. It's going to eat the number 270. How do you know? Oh, that's right. Because zero tens is less than seven tens. So the alligator mouth is going to want to eat the number that's greater. If I were reading this from left to right, what would I say? You got so easy. You would say 207 is less than 270. And we know that because seven tens is greater than zero tens. Great, last one. Ooh, they tried to trick us. We have the number 106, and we have the number 84. Hmm, this number has how many digits? Three. One, two, three. How many digits does this number have? Yeah, just two. Which number do we think is bigger? Just think about it for five quick seconds. Four, three. Two, one, let's see if you're right. How many hundreds is in the number 106? You're right, just one. How many hundreds are in the number 84? Oh, you all did not get tricked. You all saw that the number 84 only has tens and ones. It doesn't have a number in the hundreds place. So we're going to underline the one in the, in the number 106. Because we know the number 106 has a hundreds place, a number in the hundreds place, but the number 84, it doesn't. There's no number right here. So, 100 is greater than zero hundreds. So, which number do you think the alligator mouth is going to want to eat? That's 
right, it's going to want to eat the number 106 because 100 is greater than 0, 100. How would I write this from left to right? That's right. I will write 106 is greater than 84. So awesome. You all do such a great job, not just comparing numbers, but using a strategy of checking the numbers in the hundreds, tens, and ones place into different numbers. Even with this really tricky problem down here, the, the problem 106 and 84, you all knew that 106 was greater than 84 because number 106 had a one in the hundreds place, but the 84 had no number in the hundreds place. So you already knew that 106 was greater than 84. I wonder what numbers we're going to have to compare next week. Bye, Kipsters. Bye, families. Enjoy Superhero Thursday. See you later.